Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today's video is all about Filmora 13. So they reached out to me to see if I would test drive their new software. It's got a lot of AI power through ChatGPT, but I was really focusing on how this software could actually help new content creators. So when I started my channel three years ago, I was desperately looking for an affordable, user-friendly software that would not make video editing a scary thing. And with Filmora 13, I really feel like it's hit the nail on the head on a really nice medium when it comes to video editing software that's not super gonna just kill your budget, but at the same time has a lot of features packed into it. So I'm gonna go over some of those key features that I think personally are gonna be great for new beginners to video editing and try to make you not so scared of that editing process. So number one, let's talk about the price because I think that's really important for this video. And it's 50 bucks a year basically for their most popular plan. And that's gonna give you upgrades every time there's a new upgrade. So even when Filmora 14 or 15 comes out, you're going to be able to upgrade every single time there's a new software upgrade. There is a perpetual plan that's like 80 bucks and that's just gonna keep you stuck at whichever one you do that plan with. So let's say you do it right now and you get Filmora 13. Well, you're stuck with Filmora 13 once you hit that cap of the last upgrade for 13. Honestly, I think if you're gonna get this software, doing the annual plan is the smartest route. And to be honest with you, 50 bucks a year for everything that you get with Filmora 13 is not a bad deal in my opinion. And just FYI, it does go for Windows and Mac and it is optimized for Apple Silicon. So if you do have like an M1 Pro like I do or an M1 or whatever, it's gonna be blazing fast guys because it is optimized for it. So now let's talk about some of the AI features that's packed into this software. So it is powered through ChatGPT, but this AI software that is in this is insane. So let's say when I started my channel three years ago, some of these features I wish I had. So number one, AI text-based editing. I don't know if you know what that means, but basically what that means is the AI software is going to analyze your video and come up with a word box basically. And it's going to have every single word that you spoke laid out like if it was a word document and you can edit your video by simply just copy and pasting or cutting and deleting words from your um, script there that you read. Uh, it, it's all done. So you don't need to go into the timeline and blade tool it up and move it around and cut the timeline up. You can literally just take a sentence out and it does it for you. Or it will highlight like the silent spots. So if there's a lot of silence in your video and you don't wanna go through and try to like pay attention to the actual audio and see where those silent spots are and cut them out yourself, you can literally just delete all of them in one clean swoop and that's it. And that just speeds up your process, guys. So that's the whole point of having AI is the ability to just make your video editing faster. So that text-based uh, editing is huge. Uh, and that's just one of the features that you get. The other feature that I personally really like as well is the ability to do this AI copywriting thing. Now this, guys, is a game changer for new people as well because if you're like me at some point when ChatGPT came out or all these other AI based type of uh, like search engines came out, I was going on there and typing in like, what's the best title for this type of video or write me a script for this product review. And it would do it for me, but it was having to go to website and all that. With this AI copywriting, there are so many different random little things that it gives you the ability to do. For example, I'm staring at the one that says video oral script. I typed in, how does Filmora 13 help beginner video editors? And then click generate. And guys, it gave me a long spill. Literally, opening scene of a person sitting in front of a computer with Filmora 13 software open. Narrator, are you a beginner in video editing? Blah, 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 blah. Scene of Filmora 13 interface, it's featuring the highlights, right? Then it's cutting back, it's giving you ideas of B-roll footage, but then saying when to cut back to you speaking, when to cut to a different scene, when to do, it's literally writing you a script, guys, within the software. 
that's huge. You can do video titles. You can do video descriptions. You can literally do all of that with one click of a button. That's huge. Now that is in beta, but it is part of it. And that's a big, big feature in my opinion, guys. Another really important feature that I think is great is because with vidIQ and all these other type of uh, channels out there that are here to help you with your YouTube channel and how to get it, you know, better and more views and more, you know, optimized for the YouTube algorithms. A big thing that they always talk about is having text on your video. And another AI feature that this has is the ability to do your voice to text by analyzing the video through AI and it literally spits out the text on the screen. That's a huge thing because I know for a fact, I do not even know how to do that with Final Cut Pro. Uh, I think you have to use like a third party app and then kind of export it uh, and then put it back into the video. And that's just a pain in the butt. It's more time, it's time consuming. But with this, it literally will do it automatically for you. Now you can change the text and how big and small it is and you know the type of font, uh, but that's about to the extreme that you can do. And it's huge, especially for folks who are gonna be focusing on like a lot of like YouTube shorts, for example, and stuff like that, because a lot of YouTube shorts have that text uh, on the screen and it's literally just popping up as you're talking and it's there and it's just by the click of a button once again. So that's a big thing for newbies when it comes to video editing, because even for me, I think that's huge. I don't even know how to do that with Final Cut Pro. And then one other AI feature that I think is really important is the ability to actually have the AI help create a YouTube thumbnail for you. So when you go to export, you can actually create a thumbnail. It will take a frame of your video and basically generate a few different thumbnails for you. And you can pick one if you like it. You can actually change it. You can edit the text and all that if you wanna do all that. Uh, but it is just a, once again, a quick flow of things, right? It's not having to pay extra like I do for Canva, pay 10 bucks a month for that. This is already included. So that's just another thing that is nice about Filmora 13. And I could go on and on about the AI features, to be honest with you guys, but I think there are some other things that are really important when it comes to Filmora 13. So number one is going to be just the simplicity, being able to upload the video, put it on your timeline, drag it down there, be able to edit by just clicking the blade tool on the timeline. All those little things are just easy to do. Another thing is just being able to expand and make your um, timeline longer, smaller, taller. It's, it's just easy. All the tiles with Filmora 13, you can change them and move them around. You can make the screen bigger when it comes to the actual video. You can of course change the quality if you want it to be like downgraded a little bit so it's a little bit smoother. Once again, depends on what kind of computer you have. Uh, I do it at full quality every single time with my M1 Pro and it does fine. I literally haven't had an issue at all in the last three weeks of stutter, nothing. But another thing that I love is there's so many things with Filmora. So for example, I'm staring at all these titles that you can use and just make your video look even better. For example, plain text, there's VF X text that are like the stretchy one and all this, these 3D titles. Cyber Monday, I mean, there's so many random titles that you can choose from. I mean, there's pages and pages and pages of these. Another thing that I really, really like about this is the ability to go in, I'm looking at it right here, and there's so many effects. Like the effects on here, guys, where you can auto enhance, you can do a Luma Sharp, you can do an image mask, you can just do so many random things and it's all included. Or AI portrait. Once again, going back to AI. That AI portrait is something that's so cool because I just did a little video with my daughter a few days ago and I just thought it was so neat for me to be able to have like squiggly lines around her or put, you know, sunglasses on her and it stayed on her face or had her glow. There's just so many random like AI portrait features with that one thing alone. That is just something that once again, I don't have on Final Cut Pro. 
It's something that I'd have to do outside of Final Cut Pro and then bring it back in. Um, and this is just all right there. Another thing that I really like is the audio side of it. So you can do AI generated audio, and that is totally uh, an ability where you can click generate AI music and click start. You do need internet, but just letting you know, there's different moods. So you can do like happy, epic, chill, and emotional. There's so many different things, and it's gonna generate some different clips that you can use, No, and it's no fear of it getting dinged with a copyright thing from YouTube. Or go and just listen to all of the, the music that it already has on here. So there's a ton of music. There's beats, there's chill, there's rock, horror and suspense. You can do different sound effects. So if you wanted to add, you know, like a whoosh sound or a ding or a click, it's all right there. Once again, I pay monthly for Epidemic Sound or I guess annually, but it's, yeah, breaks out to like 11 bucks a month or something. But this is all right here, guys, once again, all included with your one package. So if you are a new person to video editing, that is huge. There's stickers, there's different templates. It, the, the point that I'm making, guys, is that Filmora 13 does give you a lot of features. So it's the best bang for your buck, in my opinion when it comes to video editing software. Uh, and will I use it a lot? To be determined, because I'm just so stuck with Final Cut Pro right now, but trying to retrain myself with these Filmora um, features, it just made me realize like there's so much with Filmora. So like I said, if you are someone who isn't gonna be do a lot of color grading, which they do have color grading options. You can upload LUTs and everything. There's already pre-installed LUTs even. But the point is, is the color grading features aren't quite to par yet with like DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. Uh, there are some things like you can do like, you know, the RGB parade and you can do like the Luma Chrome and all those things to be able to try to like color grade a little bit but unfortunately the boxes are too small and you can't resize them. So that's really the only knock that I really have when it comes to the color grading features, but just simply being able to put in your video and click audio and do auto normalization and it automatically kind of tweaks your audio. Uh, or you can do uh, AI speech enhancement, which I haven't really found that that's worked very well for me maybe for you, but you can do a wind removal, you can do a, a normal denoise, uh, you can do, um, well, one, you can also do like an audio ducking. So if you add like some music to the background, you can change the percentage by, you know, how loud that background music's gonna be. And that's just another added bonus to help you. Then of course you can start playing around with keyframes and all these other things. But the point is, is that there's just so many simple things that you don't have to really overthink to really help you with your video editing. So once again, chat GPT and all the AI powered features and all just the basic features that comes with Filmora is just something that is hard to overlook just for that simple price that they charge. It's just a lot that you get with it. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If there is anything specific that you're wanting to learn more about with Filmora, let me know. I'm still learning it. Like I said, I've only been playing around with it for a couple of weeks, but the point is, is there's a lot to like about Filmora 13 and it's just gonna get better and better and better. So hit the like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. I'll see you on the next one.